Банде Гуру Пада Дандам Бхакта Биндо Саманитам Си Чайтанна Прабхум Банде Калпатару Вашаки Пасинду Бевача, Патитананг Павуни Бавишна Вибью Наму Намаха, Муканг Каротти Бача Алам Пангум Ланг Хетикидим, Ядки Патамаханг Банди Шнавакти паде деви шатто ваттой наму нама. Нараяну намаскитто норанчай ванараттамам. Девин сара сатинг вясам тату жайо мудире. Чанкиртане кришно кату падеши. Гаврия патрашо пракаса неча. Садану рапто гуру бхакти юкто. Бхакти Прамодакша Джагод Варуну, Дейям Сада Парибабам Набавишто Духом, Титас Падам Сива Виринчину Том Саранья, Битати Хом Понатопал Бхавади Путам, Банде Махабурушати Биспуриджи тогма бибабуваду свадарши, порнану драгара сосагара сарамурти, сарради кама и када кивам кирши. Си Кришна Чайтанна Прабунита Ананда, Си Аддайта Гада Дарасивасади Гаура Бхакта Винда, Си Кришна Чайтанна Прабунита Ананда. Шия Адайта Гала Дхарасива Сади Гаура Бхакта Винда Хари Кришна Хари Кришна 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 Хари 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 Рама Хари Рама 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 Хари Аляну ламбито фуджоу канока бодату, шанкерто ней капитору камала ютакшо, вишам бару дия бару жугодар мопалу, банде ягат прия кару, каруна Кришна, Кришна, Харе, 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 Рам, Харе, Рам, 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 Харе, Харе, Нама, Миганге, Тавапад, Панкаджам, Сура, Сура, Ирбандито, Дипарупам. Бхуктин ча муктин ча дада синиттам Бхаван рупен сада наданам Ганга таранга рамания жата калапам Гаури нирантара вивуши табам бхагам Нарайяну пьяманам Барану си куравати бхаджави шанатам, Ваги шаджуша вадани, Лакмир джасача бхакшаши, Джасастиде самбир, Твам Кришна, Кришна, Хари, 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 Рам, Хари, Рам, 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 Хари, Хари. 
मज्जन्म न फलमिद मधुकोट भारे मत पार्थ नियमदनुग्रह एष एव तद्भित भित्त परिचारको भृत्त भित्त 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 मरो लोकनाथ मज्जन्म न फलमिद मधुकोट भारे मत पार्थ नियमदनुग्रह एष एव तद्भित भित्त परिचारको भित्त 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 मरो लोकनाथ गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट अदोक्ष भगवान सेवा नो वी वॉन्ट्स टू डू दैट बट विदाउट कॉलिंग विदाउट कॉलिंग एनी वन विद टू डू माया देवी एवरी वन इज एक्चुअली स्टैंडिंग देर टू डू सेवा ऑफ माया देवी कौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट अधोक्ष भगवान सेवा टू डू द सेवा ऑफ अधोक्ष भगवान इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल फॉर एवरी वन नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू डू दैट बट विदाउट कॉलिंग एनी वन एवरी वन इज एक्चुअली स्टैंडिंग देयर टू डू द सेवा ऑफ माया देवी ऑल द टाइम दे आर स्टैंडिंग देयर सो वेरी टॉप मोस्ट काइंड ऑफ सरप्राइजिंग थिंग वी कैन सी दैट अधोक्ष भगवान बस टू वॉट इज दैट ऑब्जेक्ट अधोक्ष एक्चुअली देर आर टू थिंग्स आर देयर प्रोपर स्पीकिंग वन इज अधोक्ष वस्तु एंड सेकेंड इज अक्षज अक्षज ऑब्जेक्ट दे विच इज एक्चुअली टेम्पररी विच इज जस्ट लाइक लाइक अ शेडो दैट विच इज ऑलरेडी गोइंग टू विच इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू वैंक्विस्ट आफ्टर सम टाइम दैट इज कॉल्ड अक्षज वस्तु अक्षज ऑब्जेक्ट एंड दैट विच इज एक्चुअली डिस्ट्रक्टेबल एंड दैट इज दैट टॉप मोस्ट परमानेंट नित्य वस्तु नित्य ऑब्जेक्ट विच इज एक्चुअली आउट ऑफ अवर मटीरियल सेंस ऑर्गन्स विट इज बाय अवर इयर्स बाय अवर नोज बाय अवर आईज बाय अवर स्किन बाय अवर इयर्स बाय दैट मटीरियल सेंस ऑर्गन्स विच वी कैन नॉट इट इज इम्पॉसिबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दैट मटीरियल इंटलैक्ट बाय माइंड इंटेलिजेंस इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट ऑब्जेक्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड अधोक्ष वस्तु That is called अधोक्ष object, अधोक्ष वस्तु that is called. शीला जीव को स्वाम पद एक्चुअली हैज जस्ट गिवन एन एक्सप्लेनेशन इन संदर्भ दैट अबाउट द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ अधोक्ष वस्तु प्रभुपाद ऑल्सो हैज डन द सेम एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड जीव को स्वामी पद ऑल्सो हैज डन द सेम एक्सप्लेनेशन रिगार्डिंग दिस that 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 adhokshaj vasu is that which you cannot measure by your uh, material sense organs at all that what you are having that measuring uh, measuring capacity that kind of uh, capacity you just need to kick that off it means that you cannot measure that adhokshaj vastu by your uh, material measuring capacity that kind of measuring capacity kind of uh, intelligence or uh, mind in order to understand that adhokshaj vastu is it is not at all uh, uh, that much to understand that it is not at all possible to understand that adhokshaj vastu by that material measuring capacity that's why shila jeev goswami pad has told in the sandarbh tatha indriya jagyanam jeno jeno mane jinke jeno means by those that our material sense organs and whatever our mind and intelligence mean material intellect is there that our material vivek material opulence is material sense organs by that whatever it is not at all in our range and which is actually out of our range and whatever our material efforts are there it is just you just need to kick that off away That is called adhokshya vastu. Prabhupada always used to speak that only and only by without leaving pure Guru Vishnu, nobody has that capacity to do adhokshya vastu seva. Apart from pure Guru Vishnu, it is just like seva, but it is not at all seva without pure Guru Vishnu anugatya. That aprakrit shuddh Guru Vishnu by leaving them. to do the seva of adhokshaj vastu is not at all possible at all aur jo 
एंड दोज हु आर एक्चुअली एक्चुअली डूइंग अदोक्ष ऑब्जेक्ट सेवा दोज हु आर डूइंग द सेवा ऑफ अदोक्ष भगवान फॉर फॉर दोज प्योर गुरु वैष्णव If you will, they, they, this is the actual uh, behavior to just uh, uh, disrespect them. That they haven't done anything in their life. They actually they don't know the purpose of their life also. And if they will do something, then it opposite will happen to them. So Prabhupada actually speaking that those who are actually Hari Vimu who are away from Hari, it looks like externally that there is actually sannyas, ways, everything is there, and external ways is there. They are actually done the Hari. having the three 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 hand three hand all as well in their hand those who are actually hari vajan vimukh who those who don't have any kind of uh, uh, those who are actually away from hari those who by external vichar external externally you can see that uh, they are having that uh, three hand and everything that their eyes ears etc they are uh, only by taking their support they are actually just uh, serving pure guru vaishnav they are actually just uh, seeing the actual uh, uh, they are disrespecting vaishnav have just seeing the faults in pure guru vaishnav they this is their only work that's it but bhagwan in gita have already told that my bhakt it is not at all possible to destroy my bhakt my bhakt is non destructible those people who are actually doing ananya bhajan Prabhupada speaking that those who are doing ananya bhajan definitely they will not at all fall down they will not fall down at all from their bhajan life definitely they will be getting their mangal in their life topmost mangal our if in our uh, in our thinking that our darshan is actually that false that's why we are seeing in all the four directions our darshan is material darshan that's why we are finding faults and we are not at all and that's why we are not at all finding our mangal in that if we that if we are having that if we'll become materialistic on our own we'll become materialistic on our own then to get in contact with that adhoksha seva it is not at all possible to come it is not at all possible to do adhoksha seva how is it possible adhoksha seva is not at all possible we will just be fall down from our original position adhoksha vastu and uh, that pure guru vaishnav dham nam actually is uh, definitely gonna go away from me because that we have having that measuring capacity inside our mind that by getting our own amangal that we will be having for finding faults in other that is natural that whatever fault are there in us that whatever kind of countless uh, faults are there we are actually not at all having time to see we are actually seeing faults in others one time one pure guru vishnu he is actually speaking to tulsi das one vishnu that you see and he actually this person is speaking all all the time he is uh, seeing faults in you and he is speak all the time he is disrespecting you and tulsi das is speaking okay i will i will be just making one bhajan gutir in front of my bhajan gutir oh, i haven't understood that he is actually just uh, disrespecting you and you are saying you will be making his bhajan gutir that boy, that's why i'm speaking na he is i will be just by bhiksha i'll be making one bhajan gutir in front of my bhajan gutir are what is that still yes definitely i will make one bhajan gutir because he is actually seeing at least my faults and and i will be actually just rectifying my faults yeah, so that is very good i that is their only thing that he is actually finding fault in me so my fault are not at all coming in my own hand whatever faults i am having it is not at all coming in my own hand so it's good that he will be finding my faults and i will be he'll be speaking and i'll be just rectifying it uh, one by one so that is a very good thing so what is bad in that nothing is bad in that everything is good so like this it is if uh, we are doing all the time bhajan those pure guru vaishnav those who are doing actual hari bhajan all the time they are doing that for them in they don't have any time to see have any kind of dosh even just to take mahaprasadam also they don't have any time even they don't have time to sleep they don't have time to do all such things so how they can find faults in others you just tell me ha huh? 
how it is possible for them to have they don't have time for eating and sleeping also how they can find faults in for others so yesterday i was actually just discussing brahm samhita i was actually describing the sixth number shlok you just uh, can remember that what i'm speaking that day हे गोकुलेश्वर हे परमेश्वर परात पर अखिलेश्वर भगवान श्री कृष्ण यू आर सदानंद स्वरूप यू आर घनीभूत आनंद दैट यू आर चिद घनानंद हिज नेम इज चिद घनानंद and this this is actually he is actually paratpar that apart from him nobody is up up than him he is the topmost apart from him nobody is back and in front of him he is the topmost and that bhagwan has his own that is nit place that transcendental place that is called brindavan that also it can be uh, meant here like that atma jagat mein ramansil atma ramasya that is atma ramasya the shlok ka vyakha mahapur the shlok which have mahaprabhu already discussed in front of sarvam bhattacharya and sanatan go swami pad also he is describing that same shloka that pure guru vaishnav all those muni rishi sometimes they become atmaram atmaram means that externally they don't they don't need anything externally okay they have their internal anand for their own anand that what no no material things externally they know that is called atmaram he is actually uh, happy ha- happiness is there internally all the time but here the actual meaning will be that the atma jagat by speaking that what do you mean that by speaking atma jagat it's vrindavan that shrimati radharani also actually speaking the same thing that same thing radharani also speaking no Shrimati Radharani is uh, is actually speaking this point in front of us. That's why. Just by speaking Atma Ram, this word, Bhagwan, that whatever a bin Vrindavan, non different, that Vrindavan is there with Bhagwan. that vrindavan is actually non different from bhagwan and that uh, parikar vaishishta of parafarnilya of bhagwan is all the same with bhagwan there is no difference between that that's why bhagwan for bhagwan this atma ramasya this uh, actual meaning will be the actual meaning will be for bhagwan will be that shrimati radharani just uh, he is actually uh, doing raman with that because who is radharani that is swayam krishna only this is one and the same there is no difference between them both of them that's why shrimati radharani is actually just by doing a raman with Ra- shrimati radharani that atma ramatya of bhagwan that atma ram ship it is not at all getting destroyed it is not at all disturbed at all that atma ram ship that by the help of prakriti it is not at all getting disturbed that is this relationship is a big dif- big far distant it is just like one joking because yesterday i was actually speaking that vyasdev ji 
व्यासदेव जी एक्चुअली व्यासदेव जी हैज जस्ट टेक दर्शन ऑफ भगवान एंड देर इज एंड दैट माया देवी इज एक्चुअली स्टैंडिंग बिहाइंड भगवान जस्ट बाय पुटिंग हर हेड डाउन इन दैट पोजीशन विद अ वेरी शाई मूड हर हेड इज एक्चुअली पुट डाउन लाइक विद फुल शाइनेस बैक ऑफ इन बैक ऑफ भगवान एंड दैट विद प्रकृति देर इज नो कॉन्टैक्ट ऑफ भगवान दैट चिन्ह में वस्तु विद दैट चिन्ह में वस्तु देर इज नो कॉन्टैक्ट ऑफ माया विद दैट इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर ये स्टडे आई हैव जस्ट डिस्कस टू टू थ्री वर्ड्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दैट श्री कृष्ण इज स्वयं ओनली वन पराशक्ति दैट स्वयं चिद शक्ति स्वरूप ही इज एक्चुअली मैनिफेस्टिंग हिज गोलोक लीला भगवान इज मैनिफेस्टिंग दैट गोलोक लीला इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस बाइड अचित पराशक्ति एंड भगवान इफ वी कैन गेट द कृपा ऑफ भगवान इन टोटो If we can get the kripa of Bhagwan, then, then the tatasta shakti, the jeev guns, all the jivas, they can, they can get into the nitya lila, nitya dham of Bhagwan. They can uh, get uh, their position there. It is definitely possible to get there. It is definitely possible to get there. and apashat purusham purnam mayancha tadabas rahyam e vyasdev ji this vyasdev ji actually just by taking darshan of bhagwan and behind bhagwan one maya devi actually just with a shy mood just head getting her head down she is actually standing behind bhagwan in that position that that devi that whole material world is actually just getting attracted and it is just getting into that attracted mode and i have already told you the actual definition of maya have already told you bhakti no thakur under the guidance of bhakti no thakur i have told bhakti no thakur speaking that bhagwan swarup shakti is shakti that bhagwan swarup shakti what is actually out of that swarup shakti which that shakti it looks like that it is there that shakti is there out of that swarup shakti that if swarup shakti if they if it is not there then that the existence of that shakti is not at all possible that is called maya shakti that with prakriti bhagwan has no contact with prakriti at all भगवान एक्चुअली इज अक्ष वस्तु एंड इज एक्चुअली अवे फ्रॉम माया एंड इट इज इम्पॉसिबल दैट भगवान कैन गेट कॉन्टैक्ट विद माया देवी जस्ट टू गिव हैव सम चैलेंजिंग मूड फॉर भगवान टू टेक दर्शन ऑफ भगवान विद चैलेंजिंग मूड इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल विद चैलेंजिंग मूड टू हैव दर्शन ऑफ भगवान इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल that the actual avaran swarup of golok that brahma dham that brahma jyoti by brahma effulgence after that virja nadi and after virja river you can go to mahesh dham this maya devi is actually staying there after going away from virja river so like this that kind of parishuddh that kind of parishuddh condition in that condition that swayam bhairanga shakti with the actual association of krishna ye to dur ki baat hai 
it's a far distant thing to get association of krishna but up till even but she can't see the actual uh, drishti gochar of bhagwan also she is actually feeling shy in coming front of bhagwan that after that i have actually told you the seventh number shloka the seventh number shloka and 6 number shlok about maya devi in the in uh, context of maya devi about that in brahma samhita it is already written there no that uh, kind of prasang After that, in the seventh number shloka, it is written. Means. that what we we don't have any link with maya at all this is definitely for sure that bhagwan shri krishna with that there is no contact with maya at all it is very far distant even if you are thinking like that that the bhagwan shri krishna has some contact with maya then it is totally to- topmost aparad that's why it is actually spoken here krishna vahiranga maya ka sad that krishna vahiranga maya shakti that who is actually not at all having association with that that krishna with vahiranga maya it is not at all having any association with maya at all there is no association of krishna with maya at all in whatever position it is bhagwan bhagwan naam that in order to transform that it is not at all good to transform the name of bhagwan it is actually just madness to transform the name of bhagwan only and only that for bhagwan it is applicable that's it that that apart from bhagwan it is not at all applicable anywhere else this is not at all possible to get applicable anywhere else apart from bhagwan that <coughs> with antaranga swarup shakti bhagwan is actually having association all the time eternally and that aprakriti jagat kaam that transcendental kaam that kind of vasana that is in this uh, material world it is just perverted reflection we can find in this material world that uh, that prakrit kaam is actually getting uh, formed here which is just a perverted reflection from that transcendental world just a shadow of aprakrit kama with maya raman to dur ki bahar it is not no contact is possible for bhagwan with maya at all it is just uh, association is a far distant thing even bhagwan is not at all touching maya devi no no contact with maya at all so but but still krishna with bahiranga maya is actually is actually not at all associating with bahiranga maya at all bhagwan bahiranga maya that with tathapi but but still this paratat with that paratat maya ka sarva piyo ka vichhed bhi nahi that there is actually there is no disconnection also some connection is also there but that is contactless connection indirectly there is some connection with maya bhagwan is having that's why actually it is written maya ya aram manushyo na biyogos taya sah atmuna ramaya reme takto kalam sishikshe कि 
that Krishna with Bhairanga Maya, there is no contact at all. Not at all. He is associating with that Bhairanga Maya, and they are not. He is not at all associating with Rabban Maya, Bhairanga Maya. But still, but Maya they were actually serving Bhagwan all the time. Bhairanga Maya. Maybe Maya has no connection with um, association with the Bhagwan, but still indirectly there is some connection. How it is possible? How? That with Paratatva, there is actually no chhed, there is no kind of disconnection. Maybe whatever kind of tattva you can see that infinity tattva is actually there in, inside Bhagwan only. That with with this Paratatva only, that how it is possible that Maya Devi can get um, is not at all connected with Maya. Yes, it is connected, but indirectly it is connected with Maya. That this, where the time of doing the material creation, that kind of atma ichha, self manifesting power, Bhagwan is having. That in this material world, this kind of wish to just make material world, create material creation, is actually indirectly the will of Bhagwan only. That with Chit Shakti Rama, that kind of association, indirectly Bhagwan is doing. That kind of call Shakti. By the power of Kal Shakti, he is actually just uh, maintaining this material creation. That ke Kal Shakti prerik, that Bhagwan, when actually just seeing on uh, Maya Devi, just by having a glance on Maya Devi, that all the jivas. And that from the previous uh, previous birth or previous karm infinity time period, the infinity jivas are getting out from there. That that kind of desire for this uh, material world, that atma chit shakti with Rama actually it is connecting with that that kind of prerana for that kal shakti. By that only, Kal Shakti Roop, that Kal Shakti Swaroop, that by that action it is all the time associating with that, which already actually written in Gita about that. What it is written? Ma Maya Dakshina Maya Dakshina Prakriti Swati Characharam. Maya Dakshina Prakriti Swati Characharam. Actually, Bhagwan he is actually just by having a glance on Maya that pre, from the previous kalp, whatever infinity jeeves are there of their previous karm, it already comes inside the Maya Devi. All all the jivas come in Maya Devi, and uh, jivas according to their previous karm, there are some actually just becoming horse, cattle, uh, ants. They are actually taking birth in different different unis, different different species. They are taking birth. And this yours, uh, this Maya Shakti, that with Maya Shakti directly there is no contact, but still uh, indirectly there is some contact. That uh, the Mahasankarshan of the Vakunt, that from there Karno, 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 the Mahavishnu Avatar. From that Purusha Avatar, from that Karnon on the Shai, Karnon on the Shai Mahavishnu, that Purusha Avatar, by that Maya Devi having, is actually just having a glance on Maya Devi. And all the previous Kalp, whatever Jeevas are, infinity Jeevas are there, everything actually going into the womb of Maya Devi. Like you can see the case of uh, material creation, that in the womb, it's not like that. That in the womb of Maya Devi, it is just, uh, it is just another process. That Maya Devi, according to the karam fall of the previous uh, jivas, that snake, horse, cattle, ants, according to that they can take their birth, or uh, what they have got uh, in their previous karma, what they have got. Vishnu Chakravarti Pad also has written regarding this. Baldev Vidya Bhushan also has written very nicely regarding this on this vishay. How Prakriti Kriya Manani this uh, point and.
And with Maya Shakti, how that actual Sakshat Swarupa Bhagwan, when it's not at all like association directly with Maya, with Bhagwan, but indirectly it is actually associating with Maya because apart from Maya, apart from Bhagwan, nothing is there. So that from the Vaikunt, that Mahasankarshan from there, Karnadasai Mahavishnu actually having a glance on Maya Devi, and after that, by the glance of the Karnadasai Mahavishnu on Maya Devi. That all this infinity jiva is actually getting into the womb of Maya Devi, and according to their own karmful, they are actually getting uh, birth according to their own uh, species in different species like cattle, horse, uh, camel, snake, different different kind of species. They can take according to their own previous karmful. They are taking uh, birth according to that. So just by seeing this, having glance on Maya Devi. Action means just to see, having a glance on Maya Devi. This process of having a glance on Maya Devi, there there is no direct contact with Maya. Why? Because Chid Shukti Ram Rama. Just by this uh, glancing of the Bhagwan over Maya Devi, it is actually accepted by the Rama Shakti. That by Ranga Maya. That that by Ranga Maya. That is actually in the form of Rama Devi. That the actual maid servant of Rama Devi, she is serving Rama Devi. This Bhairanga Shakti. That with Rama Devi, she is actually serving that Rama Shakti. That she is actually serving the Bhagwat Ansh, directly as well as indirectly, and able the Kal Vritti, the Kal Power, the Power of Kal, Time. That time of uh, Raman Karja, that association with the Maya and the material creation, the actual formation of the material creation and the effects what you see in the material creation, no one can do anything. Only Bhagwan is the actual cause of all the causes behind this material creation. Also, that if some object, like the case, if some object, you are actually giving some energy. If you are giving some energy towards some particular object, you can uh, convert some energy. Uh, towards, uh, to you can also convert some energy towards some object. Similarly, Bhagwan also there is actually a transformation of Bhagwat power, Bhagwan's power into uh, directly or indirectly by that process. Like in some object, that for ob- some object, like. Like for some object, you can convert some object into some energy, like a metal piece or something else. You can convert his energy. Like the same thing, if Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking to Sanatan Goswami, that whatever Bhagwan's infinity Shakti, that in this material creation, it is actually just a transformation of the infinity Shakti of Bhagwan. What we are finding in this material creation. That is the actual transformation of the infinite Shakti of Bhagwan. That is the actual result of uh, result of the infinity Shakti of Bhagwan. But Mayavadi people are not at all accepting this because they are thinking that this material creation it is not at all there. It is just imaginary. It is just like dream. It's not possible. This is foolish concept. It is just like dream. This is their actual which are Mayavadi opposite which are they are having. Mahaprabhu actually speaking, you see that this is anitya, this is temporary, but definitely some its existence is there. Definitely its existence is there. It is temporary. That's it. So that Bahiranga Maya, that this Rama Devi, she is actually serving as a maid servant of this Rama Devi, Rama Shakti, and she is actually doing the seva of the Bhagavat Ansh by the association of Rama Devi. Yesterday I was. That kind of kal vritti, that kal power, uh, this kind of material creation, that power actually is taken from that the kal uh, kal vritti, that kind of transformation of energy of Maya Devi just for the material creation is indirectly taken from Bhagwan only. So, so this kind of material creation and Purusha that is actually called this Purusha, this process, and if we can just directly talk about this. Then there is very di- uh, a different po- opinion in that. Very important opinion in that. What is that? Oh, 
the actual the important point in that is that that bhagwan that karnana dakshai ma that karnana dakshai mahavishnu which actually just by having a glance on the material creation in the womb of maya devi before that uh, maya material creation is material maya is in balancing condition means that prakriti is just equivalent to zero you can't see that because there is no reaction that satur jatamagun are in a balanced situation or in a neutral platform they are actually available so that time there is no function of prakriti at all and when bhagwan having that glance on the prakriti that mahatatva that possibility of creation is actually created and mahatatva started slowly steadily it is getting unfold one by one this whole material creation is just getting unfolding one by one slowly steadily it is getting transformed and one after the other that all actually is getting submerged into it and that it is going on to the original point that kind of material creation you can find or nothing this is the actual process and if the actual will of bhagwan is there then in this infinite infinity brahman can also get manifested and this actually is there in brahm samhita we can see uh, in the coming days about the discussion it's already written there in brahm samhita so that with sakshat bhagwan actually directly bhagwan because bhagwan is chinmay and maya devi cannot get direct connection with bhagwan that with that chinmay and chinmay there can be some exchange or association with material and maya with bhagwan and maya there is no direct uh, relationship at all but indirectly there is one relationship ramaya re me taktu kalam shishikshaya अर्थात इट मीन्स दैट माया मीन दैट दैट विद भयरंगा प्रकृति माया दैट विद साक्षात स्वरूप इज एक्चुअली डूइंग एसोसिएशन विद भगवान इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल दैट विद गोविंद इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल द डायरेक्ट एसोसिएशन बट विद माया इट इज एक्चुअली डेफिनेटली देर इज नो डिसकनेक्शन विद माई दी एट ऑल्स यू कॉन्ट स्पीक दैट विद भगवत तत्व देर इज नो रिलेशनशिप ऑफ माया विद भगवत तत्व यू कॉन्ट स्पीक लाइक दैट डेफिनेटली इट इज देयर बट इनडायरेक्टली इट इज देयर इनडायरेक्टली देर इज सम रिलेशनशिप ईच एंड एवरी ऑब्जेक्ट डायरेक्टली एंड इनडायरेक्टली एक्चुअली इज एसोसिएटिंग विद भगवान that apart from bhagwan there is no existence at all so how you can speak that there is no relationship with bhagwan definitely it has some relationship with bhagwan if you can speak that there is there is no relationship with bhagwan it this is also not a, a complete explanation it means that with maya devi that that uh, total disconnection is also not there with the bhagwat tatva directly indirectly there is one connection of bhagwat tatva with maya devi that whatever that antaranga antaranga shakti swarup when uh, when associating with that in order to just uh, trans- transform that material creation in order to have that desire to increase the material creation that by the kal power the shakti power of kala just by taking that in mind uh, bhagwan is actually just uh, uh, by that uh, kal power in indirectly bhagwan is actually getting associated or connected with maya devi how it is possible there is actually about that i i am actually given a very brief description regarding this to you the actual uh, uh, conclusion is that with maya shakti like i have already told that prapanchik jagat that uh, that with the actual desire of having this material creation that with rama shakti that with kal shakti by the actual desire of the kal shakti this material creation maya bhagwan is actually getting indirect relationship with maya directly relationship of bhagwat tatva is not possible with maya so bhagwan is taking by the kal power is actually associating with maya devi indirectly directly it is not at all possible for bhagwan to get associated with maya indirectly it is possible that uh, mahasankarshan who is there in the vaikuntha that karnoda dakshai mahavishnu who is just one ansh of bhagmul sankarshan he is actually just having a glance on maya devi 
just have a glance on a beam of light going from the transcendental eyes from shirodak karna dakshai mahavishnu ikshan means to see ikshan means to see to see the maya devi after that infinity jeevas whatever are there that according to their or come fall they are actually taking that and they are actually getting into the womb of maya devi that all these jeeva actually are getting created and prakriti devi that were who is in the neutral or balancing position just get disbalanced at that point and bhagwan karnada sai that purush avatar is actually having a glance on the maya devi by that glance all the infinity jeeva are actually getting into the womb of maya devi by that glance and by that transcendental glance even also bhagwan actually not at all associated with maya devi why because chit shakti rama devi that rama devi chit shakti what it is there of the vaikunth jagat what is the antaranga shakti that rama tatkalin that with the, that shakti she is actually making the transformation of this material creation and bhairanga maya by just as a maid servant as the maid servant of rama devi she is serving rama devi rama shakti of bhagwan and with rama shakti that that she is actually serving the bhagwat ansh bhagwat tatva by the association of rama devi that this kalvritti she is actually actual the transformation of this rama shakti what we can see so in this swarup that all kind of uh, shishti prabhav or parushya we are speaking if we are actually making an actual uh, vichar that bhagwan when he is actually just seeing go- towards maya devi having a glance on maya devi that one beam of light is coming from the transcendental eyes beam means of light means that all over infinity jeevas what are coming from the eyes of uh, uh, mahavishnu that is actually called jyotirling in our uh, india there are 12 jyotirling different different places and this jyotirling is just the actual meaning of this is this only that just bhagwan actually having a glance on maya devi that what kind of association that association what he got after that and after that all the jeevas are getting created by that all the material creation is getting created this is actually called dwadash jyotirling 12 jyotirling that is shambhu ling that is called shambhu jyotirling that eighth number shlok from here actually it is getting started from here this eighth number started uh, shloka that from shambhu ling from here the actual eighth shloka is actually starting now what is the actual starting ukta maya sangi ukta maya ka ukta that ukta maya devi that jada prakriti material prakriti with maya devi that ling tatva shambhu ling tatva that what is the actual relationship with maya devi that after that when you'll go forward that we will be discussing about the srishti tatva after that we will be discussing that srishti tatva now you just need to uh, forget that and that ukta maya shakti that ling tatva what is that about this i'll be discussing now from the eighth number shloka in this eighth number shloka it is already written ट <laughs> niyati means niyati ka kya maane what do you mean by niyati ye jo niyati hi this actually in speaking niyati hi mahadevi tat priya tat basham tada tat lingam bhagwan shambhur jyotir roop sanatana ya yoni hi sa para shakti hi kam bijam mahad hare it means that sa rama sa sa rama means that from that bhagavat tatva raman karani devi that in the self manifesting swarup shakti it means that swayam roop bhagavat shakti tat priya 
Tatpriya. Tatpriya means he's very much dearer to Bhagavan. That she is actually giving the actual priti towards that Bhagavat Tattva. That is why her name is Tadvasam means Evam, which is very pre- very dear to Bhagavan. That in the Srishti Kal, at the time of uh, doing the Srishti creation, Tam Lingam means that Shri Krishna, Shri Krishna Ancha, that there is some uh, Jyoti Swarup of that. Karnan Dakshai, Mahavishnu Purush, that the ling, that the actual transcendental ling of that uh, Karnan Dakshai, Mahavishnu directly, it is not at all something there. This long yoni, exactly Bhakti Man Thakur also speaking, you don't uh, think this terminology, this is one fixed terminology, you cannot think bad about this. If I will not be using this, then you can't get the actual meaning. That's why Shri Krishna Ansh. That Sankarshan, that Sans Jyoti Swarup, that Karnadashai Pratham Purusha, the first Purush, that kind of uh, ling, transcendental ling of that uh, Mahapurush, that is actually that uh, Bhagavan Shambhu, that is actually uh, configured as uh, Bhagavan Shambhu. It is having the transcendental ling. What is the relationship of that ling, of that Shambhu? That is called Jat- Dad- Dadash Jyoti Ling, 12 Jyoti Lings. Having relationship with that material Maya Prakriti. So, that Aprakat Surupa, that Yoga Maya, that just having the actual shadow Swarup of that Yoga Maya, what you see, you cannot understand what I am speaking. The, I want to mean that, that this is the same thing what I have already told you previously, that uh, the Antaranga Swarup Shakti of Bhagwan is actual actual Shakti of Bhagwan, and this Swarup Shakti, what is actually outside that Shakti, we are actually feeling that it is there, but without the actual formation of Antaranga Shakti, if it is not at all there, if its existence is not there, then the that Shakti don't have its existence. That is called Maya Shakti. So, in that Aprakat Swarupa Yoga Maya, Yoga Maya is not at all directly present. Yoga Maya is actually at its own platform in uh, Vakun platform. But Yoga Maya, that kind of shadow, what we can see, the perverted reflection which we found in this material creation, that is called Parashakti, that called Maya Shakti. That, that it is actually taking the name as Maya Shakti. In this, in this material world, it is actually getting formed by that, this whole material creation we are finding, that all the formation we can see of this material creation. Just at the time of uh, present at the material creation, this Govind Ansh, because everything is of Govind Ansh only. Without the Ansh of Govind, nothing is there. So, what is actually spoken? That of Hari. That Hari is what? That Ansh is there at the time of Shrishti, that Pratham Purush Avatar. That for Shrishti, that for towards Maya Devi that kind of uh, darshan it is kind of one desire actually created in uh, the that so this uh, whatever Mahavishnu by that we can see the darshan and this all prapanj of this all jivas we can having this kind of uh, seed of uh, virja of formation of uh, power actually it is just getting uh, into the womb of Maya Devi Mahavishnu is just uh, putting that seed of uh, creation into the womb of Maya Devi Vijam Mahad Harehe Chit Sakti Rupa Chit Sakti Rupa Chit Sakti Rupa Rama Devi That Niyati Rupa Bhagavad Priya That at the time of material creation that, that the time of having a material creation The possibility of material creation What we are finding At the Srishti Kal that kind of material creation what we find that Swayam Jyoti Swarup which is actually self-manifested 
in that same Bhagwan, with that he is actually that Bhagwat Linga. It is getting associated with that. That Prakriti is getting associated with that transcendental Linga, and that association is called actually called the actual Abhas of that Sanatan Jyoti, that the Brahma Fulgens, what you can speak, that the kind of uh, uh, perception of that uh, Sanatan. Uh, Sanatan, why it is actually spoken Sanatan here, which is actually all the time Nitya, it is not at all destroyed or vanquished, it is not for temporary purpose, it is permanent and it is forever, that is called Sanatan, that whatever, that by the actual association, whatever the glance of Bhagavan, that all our infinity jivas, what you can find in the beam of life, actually it's just coming, that Swaroop, it's, it's coming there in that beam of light and the Jivatma is also Nitya. That's why we are actually speaking Sanatan. That is not at all uh, bad to speak. It is definitely correct to speak this term Sanatan. Because Shambhuling also is transcendental and Sanatan. It is actually Nitya all the time uh, present, which is permanent. So that is why it is speaking Sanatan Brahm Effulgence. That Bhagavat Ling, that Bhagavat Ling, Maya Dev is getting associated with that. And that's why it is called Sanatan Jyoti Abhas. That same Linga, transcendental Linga, it is actually getting in uh, contact with the Prakriti. Niyati means fate. That actually it's fate. Whatever will be done, will be done. In just coming in contact with that fate of the Maya Devi, that whatever Prashvini Shakti, what is actually getting uh, form, form, formation of Prashvini Shakti from that, it is called the actual Swaroop of Maya Devi, what we are finding that shadow in this uh, material creation. So, Prakirti Purushena Cha, this that that calm seed, that what is the Aprakrit Jagat, that calm beach is there in that Aprakrit Jagat. Kaam means that uh, that Bhagavan has that transcendental uh, desire and in this material de- world that kind of aprakrit uh, uh, desire what we are actually seeing this prakrit kaam what we are seeing in this material world if kaam is not at all then, then material creation is not at all possible there is no question of having a material creation at all so that's why the perverted reflection of that aprakrit kama of that transcendental world that's why we are seeing that prakrit kama in this material creation Kaam is there, definitely we are seeing that uh, Kama. So, what the actual thing is that, that, that the, the actual creation of this Kaam Yukta, that Sankarshan, is the, that is the actual, who is the actual Ansh of Krishna, that Sankarshan, he is the actual cause of all the causal in the Karan Sagar, in the Karan Ocean, he is actually taking the Adya Avatar of the Purush, he is taking the Purush Avatar, he is actually just having that glance over that Maya and that same Sankarshan from that another Purusha, that second Purusha Avatar and third Purusha Avatar. Everything is coming from that Sankarshan, Bull Sankarshan only, from the Mahabhakunta. So, this kind of Shrishti Kam Yukta that Sankarshan is that kind of a, that what who is the, who is actually there in the Karan Ocean actually just just uh, lying there on the Karan Ocean. He is just having that uh, glance on that Maya Devi and infinity chief by those and that uh, uh, beam of glance on Maya Devi. This is the actual cause of the creation of this material Prakriti. That material Karan is of two types. Karan means there is one Nibit Karan and, and Upadhan Karan. Two Karans are there for the formation of material creation. There are two causes. Both the uh, causes are actually important. One is the Nimit cause and one is the Upadan cause. Nimit cause, that who is the actual uh, answer, who will answer about this material creation, that is the Nimit cause of this material creation. By that Nimit cause, that Upadan cause is also there with that. That about that, that uh, Sadashiv Tattva, Regarding Sadashiv Tattva, when we were discussing Adhyata Gosaim, Adhyata Gosaim is Sadashiv Tattva. From there, Upadhan Karan. From there, it is actually coming. And from uh, and Adhyata Gosaim, it is already written regarding him in the Shastras. 
दैट दिस सदा शिव दिस इज एक्चुअली सदा शिव तत्व दिस ही इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम सदा शिव तत्व अद्वैत को साई दिस इज द निमित्त कारण एंड सदा शिव इज द उपादान कारण उपादान जस्ट बाई स्पीकिंग उपादान कारण एक्सटर्नली सम एक्चुअली सम मटीरियल हैज टेकन उपादान कॉज इफ आई एम स्पीकिंग दैट फॉर मटीरियल निमित्त कारण ऑफ बिल्डिंग बाई मेकिंग बिल्डिंग इज दैट इज द निमित्त कारण जस्ट मनी मैन पावर दिस इज ऑल मैन निमित्त कारण एक्सटर्नल कॉजेस एंड उपादान कारण वॉट इज दैट दैट that money transfer actually money edu- man power actually is getting into the practical application we can find that and cement balu and reta all everything cement bricks rods everything has come and in practical application and everything all stones labors everything is actually work is going on so that is upadan karan practically we can see that and when the what is the building will be made that is nimitta cause that that is actual desire of your wife your wife's desire your money that is nimitta karan but for bhagwan this which are is it dif- uh, is totally different for bhagwan that whatever which are externally we are have to take that externally from some place each and everything that we have to take cement bricks uh, everything we have to take externally from some shop everything in order to make a building for for bhagwan it is not at all like that for in bhagwan from bhagwan and everything is bhagwan so everything is coming from bhagwan so this uh, one example i am giving regarding this i have given a lot of time before maybe you can just forget that that whatever causes are there means that that in the karak vibhakti the k kon q y and from where from what purpose each and every cause regarding the questions that is only bhagwan i'll give you i'll give you one very ideal example regarding this that one spider is there that is one spider is there we are speaking makarsa in bengali this spider when she is actually making her network that she is actually just making network from from her saliva she is actually making that uh, one network one web webbing is actually just making by her saliva and when after just making that network when his uh, desire is completed then after that again she is actually swelling that swelling again that network it's already written this in bhagavatam also this example just like a spider is going to make one network and itself and when the desire is actually done is completed and not depending on anything else and when the purpose is completed or desire is completed is over then she she is going to eat up the network again that example actually written in shrimad bhagavatam theek hai na it is actually right example no so so this kind of action power that karna dakshai that kind of glance power what is having that is nimitta karan so about advait gosai it is actually spoken just be careful on this point what i am speaking so just by having a glance of, of that mahavishnu and maya devi that kind of jyoti swarup sanatan swarup that kind of abhas that is that is shambhu linga that ekadash jyoti linga this same the shambhu linga that actually the shadow of the trama shakti that is actually maya shakti it means that in the yoni of maya shakti it is getting established in that at that time that mahatattva swarup that kaam bij abhav it is actually doing the formation of this material creation this kind of uh, uh, desire is getting into into the that kind of kaam bij that abhas 
it is getting into that and just uh, the formation of the shristi tatva just goes like that that mahavishnu that shristokam that mahavishnu shristokam before that from mahavishnu the actual just be careful what i'm speaking that with mahavishnu from mahavishnu that when the form before the formation of the shristo kam the actual first step towards that shristo kam the what is that that is hiranmay mahatatva why you as you can speak that is hiranmay mahatatva that is called hiranmay mahatatva the actual first step for the creation of material material creation that is the formation that is when actually inside your heart there is a kamana is desire lust is actually getting formation after that you are getting it uh, completed so the actual first formation is that hidden name mahatatva that hidden name mahatatva it is the actual cause of the material creation the first step towards the material creation that manorupi tatva it is just the desire bhagwan is showing to have that material creation and there is actually very in depth hidden vichar is there very secret vichar it is that that nitya and upadan cause that kind of purushesha that kind of desire for that param purush he that nimitta and upadan both the formation are getting collected and in this kind of material creation is getting created that nimitta is that maya it means that yoni and upadan is that shambhu that linga so that kind of seed or the kind of power what is actually getting transformed into that womb of that prakriti after that this material creation is formed that from mahavishnu this purush avatar this mahavishnu purush avatar that kind of desire and that dravma uh, that upadan that i have given you the example just linga that is a dravma that object ingredients what at all required for this material creation from where that ingredients came that is from from the brahma pradhan rup tatva that upadhan it means that adhar mein prakriti tatva is maya only that that ichha mai tatva that prapanch prakashtakari that krishna as ansh purush is getting association with that material maya to get the first step completed and these are the actual three causes of this uh, this material creation whatever that kaam bij in golok dham what i have already told you previously that is vishuddh chinmay transcendental and whatever we are finding that kaam in this material creation material world it is just the perverted reflection of the transcendental world just a transformation of that uh, aprakrit tatva we can find that shadow in this material creation that aprakrit kaam dev will be getting towards that and just be getting uh, involved with that aprakrit kaam dev and that kind of shadow what we found, found in this material world that kind of material kama is getting into the uh, heart of all the material jivas and that in that case material creation is going on and bhagwan actually actually giving one example regarding this that the people are understanding opposite people are not all understanding the actual thing that their actual vichar is actually totally opposite very very dirty concept they have bhagwan actually just speaking on his own that that for me if someone actually getting attracted and some kaam is actually getting towards me then this kaam actually do you cannot speak that it is kaam it is uh, why because this act, this kaam only is required that material that those who are actually the whole material creation is getting uh, involved and uh, attracted towards this material kaam all material creation is getting attached with this material kaam this kaam that original source which is actually there in golok dham that transcendental kaam dev without that material kaam is not at all possible to get uh, uh, involved it means that whatever kind of attraction i am finding towards that aprakrit kaam dev that is the final and ultimate result and goal of our life to get attracted to that aprakrit kaam dev it seems that it is very much bad but that in a prakrit jagat in transcendental world that is actually expected this in whatever in our infinity life that it is our final goal to achieve that one has to reach that goal to get that transcendental kaam dev to get that transcendental kaama that material kaama 
you usually you just um, be drowning in this material world and a prakrit kam will be taking you away from this material world towards that kolok transcendental world that's why bhagwan already speaking this point this example i have already given you but you have forgot this point you have haven't understood the point what i'm speaking i have already told that bhagwan actually speaking that if if i someone actually feeling attraction for me and want to just kiss me just want to hug me it is actually no fault in him just by thinking that definitely it is not at all fault even it is actually expected to have this kind of karma it is expected to have this kind of feeling that each and every jiva must be feeling have this kind of aprakrit kaam dev we should go towards attracted towards the prakrit kaam dev and he should just kiss him and just try to hug him tight but it is not like that but it looks like that it is opposite but whatever kind of desire and attraction man is feeling for towards me then that is not at all kaam that is actually prema the difference between prema and kama premaimo gopo ramanam kama iti agamat pratha gopiyo ka jo that gopika is what we can find that it looks externally that it is just like material kama but that's why it looks dirty but it is not like that but the actual thing is that it is not at all dirty that bhagwan actually speaking regarding this that that if someone actually finding on me some kind of attraction some karma is finding towards me then that is very good because that is that is the actual original thing what he wants to achieve in life that is not at all uh, uh, false and bhagwan actually speaking that like jaise like kyu jo like grains jo barley like barley and paddy barley paddy wheat that whatever seed is there if you will be just boiling or each and every seed and and you will be just drying it in one uh, pot and you are just after that you are frying it and after that in from inside again you want to get you do it, it is no possibility that another kind of seed you can uh, get out of that it will just get vanquished destroyed you understand the point what i'm speaking when one seed you are actually taking when one seed may be actually the seed of uh, uh, mutter uh, peas or of uh, black chana if you are actually boiling that seed and you will be frying that seed whatever seed or whether you will be boiling that seed inside that what seed is actually present there that kind of uh, sprouted that sprout uh, it, the possibility of getting the sprout out of that will we just get finished so like that if you will be having that kind of a prakrit desire to have get attracted towards bhagwan that prakrit kaam will just get vanquished completely but uh, other everyone is actually thinking the opposite way so so that golok dham what is actually kaam dev is there that is actually vishun chinn mein and whatever we can find in this material world that kind of kama is just the actual perverted reflection of that transcendental kaam that is chhaya shakti shadow shakti that all the material jeevas actually maya devi actually just dancing uh, making dance all the jeevas you just go for that only material material kama only everything is material kama so the first uh, kaam beej the actual seed of this kama material kama that uh, the maya the actual idealism of uh, maya but actually is very far away from that it means that very far away from that absolute truth and the second kaam beej it is the maik pratifalam the formation of the material seed and material kama you haven't understood what i'm speaking again i'll speak it. this material world that kind of material seed what you can find it is just uh, the perverted reflection of that transcendental world why because this is actually false if you can speak the how it is false maharaj how it is false maharaj it looks that it is actually original yes it is looks original but still actually is false it looks original it's true but still it looks false how how it is false in geeta i have already just told you Uh, two years back, I was actually discussing this point in the Corona period. I was discussing the same shloka that what kind of our body made of five elements. 
दिस एक्चुअली फाइव बॉडी मेड ऑफ फाइव एलिमेंट्स की पी अपो तेज मरुद्व मेड ऑफ फाइव एलिमेंट्स यू अंडरस्टैंड द पॉइंट वन एम स्पीकिंग दिस आवर मटीरियल बॉडी दैट एवरी थिंग इज मटीरियल इट्स फ्रॉम प्राकृत जगत ओनली बट द प्योर गुरु वैष्ण ऑफ देयर बॉडी इट इज इन साइड दिस मटीरियल मटीरियल एंड बट स्टिल इट इज आउटसाइड मटीरियल एलिमेंट्स ऑलरेडी रिटर्न इन बृहद भागवत अमृत एज वेल आई वॉज एक्चुअली डिस्कसिंग सो द थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू स्पीक दैट मटीरियल थिंग इट इज जस्ट वन काइंड ऑफ शेड ऑफ दैट प्राकृत काम यू कैन सी ऑफ दैट ट्रांसडेंटल वर्ल्ड दैट अप्राकृत काम शेड ऑफ यू कैन फाइंड हेयर दैट इट इज जस्ट लाइक टू मेक यू फुलिश दैट काम मेक यू फुल ऑफ यू just want to make a fool of you why why he want to make you foolish so that this material body is of five elements your body and if some person actually is taking the form of purush so his body is actually panch bhautik and someone is actually taking the swarup of uh, ladies or some girl or lady it is also actually prapanchik keep yat po tej maro do that only some shape and design actually is different this is also the actual uh, swarup of maya devi someone actually is made male and someone is made female but nobody thinking that you are also jiva your your that your body is also maik and uh, his body or her body is also maik and this kind of shadow come in between them they are actually it is attracting towards both of them and by just that attraction of uh, material kaam some kind of uh, other relationship just goes in their way but those who are actually actual tattva gyani on this they are actually don't want to get into all this kind of foolish conception so that's why i have already told you a lot of time before that ऋषि मुनि Inside them, definitely that a prakrit kam get uh, uh, formed in that. Bhagwan speaking that maybe when I'll be coming in that Krishna Gopi Jan Vala Swarup, only then I can just uh, satisfy your kam. Uh, now it is not at all possible. So it is just one kind of uh, one kind of cheating propensity created by Maya Devi. But this kind of cheating propensity, what Maya Devi has just uh, networking has done for us. But still, cheating apart from this, there is some mystery. Behind this cheating propensity, what is that? That if this cheating propensity is not at all created by Maya Devi, then the uh, jivas uh, will not be actually be. Uh, suppose you have some karma fall, previous karma fall you are having, some due sanskar you are having. Like, if you are, if you will not be actually spending on this, then how it is possible that it will go away? that link the that kind of rapture is so not at all possible you have your sanskar bad sanskar inside you eh till then you will have to roll down janam maran you just have to roll down in the cycle of birth and that but when this link the it is getting raptured when you are successful to rapture the link the deh then you are actually free from maya devi so this kind of cheating propensity it is definitely there but behind this cheating propensity there is one kind of mystery it's very much important to understand this scientific mystery if this cheating propensity is not at all there then nobody nobody will be taking the form of male and female nothing is there so whatever kind of kamna vasana it you cannot expand that you can say technical term here saying depreciation depreciation is not at all possible it means that you can't cut that and i'll give you one example regarding from the seventh canto of the shrimad bhagavatam here it is written there that that the actual prasang of prahlad maharaj there actually it is written 
what it was actually written there i just forgot what it's written there uh, i always used to speak i forgot yeah it's all written there that bhog just by enjoying mood that your desire that kind of sanskar you just need to cut that that by kushal karm you just need to cut the sinful activities and narottam das thakur actually speaking punno se punno se sukher dham naloyo tar na punno ka naam nahi that you don't need to speak about the punya karma punya that pious activities is also very much dangerous for bhakti it is also the region of our bondage it is more and more bonded for bondage for us that kind of pious activities nortan was talking speaking that the, don't need to speak about those pious activities don't speak about it why because pious activities what will happen with that you cannot speak the actual hari naam that this kind of pious activities you will be just uh, taking it it will not stop your cycle of birth and that it, uh, continuously a cycle of birth and that will go on so that's why a uh, pious and impious activities pure guru vishnu are less interested about both of them they are more interested about seva they are less interested about they are only interested about seva only that's it so maybe up till this point there is no problem up till now what i have already discussed with you maybe because some some problem can be there because you haven't understood but what i can do in that i can just make an effort to just uh, make it more clear to you so those who have that uh, guru bhakti inside their heart only that kind of uh, top most shastra vichar they can get that eligibility to understand that uh, shastra vichar that those who have top most uh, more and more preeti for guru charan who lotus feet of guru dev they will be having more top most reasoning power for all the shastra it is not at all possible for each and every one that i am going towards the south direction and uh, that i'll get the result uh, present in the north direction it is not at all possible every one has kama inside their heart but there is some kind of difference in someone has having kama some are having attraction for towards other things some uh, attraction for other direction so this kama there is actually some difference is there you understand the point that male and female someone actually sports some some money money thinking this that everything is there some attraction is there definitely everything is attraction in one or other direction definitely to do this is actually calm this is just an bus expression is different definitely kama is there but expression is different so the actual first thing what i have already told it is actually very far but still it is ideal and absolute it has got the ideal and absolute situation that a prakriti jagat that that we are taking the diksha from our actual sadguru association in the gaudiya samaj they know that a prakrit kaam beej or kaam gai kaam gaitri they are actually taking diksha from that and they are getting situated into by that though he is actually worshiped by that kaam beej and kaam gaitri that a prakrit kaam dev we just need to worship that same vichar it is actually very nice vichar if you are slowly steadily in a very a uh, normal point you can understand this point very peacefully you can understand and you will be feeling very much surprised by just hearing this point what i am speaking that you will be thinking very nicely slowly steadily if you will be just uh, understanding it and just realizing this point then very nice you will find that and now by the 8th and 9th uh, shloka i will be actually just finishing today if i will be just speaking more than you can't understand the actual thing and the uh, uh opposite vomiting will be done and indigestion will be done so that's why that up till the ninth shloka i'll be discussing today janyatmika jata ima maheshwari pratyah jo baat pehle hame khulasa that thing i've already just uh, manifested in front of you i've already discussed it in front of you that same thing actually in the ninth shloka it is already written what is that 
इट इज लिंगो जन्यात्मिका याता इमा महेश्वरी प्रजा महेश्वरी क्यों भाई इट्स कॉल महेश्वरी लाइक एक्चुअली वी आई एम स्पीकिंग द सन ऑफ कुंती एस कुंते यू हैव एन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई एम स्पीकिंग लाइक द एक्चुअल द सन ऑफ कुंती एस कुंते हो और क्या हु इज ही डेफिनेटली इज कुंते ओनली और एंड दैट द दैट दक्ष प्रजापति डॉटर दैट इज दक्षायनी तो नाम है दैट इज एक्चुअली द नेम it is actually nickname, nickname we call that is very nice nickname so, is there so this link jata ima maheshwari praja maheshwari that maheshwari means from that mahesh actually is getting uh, you understand the point what i'm speaking is manifested that our maiya durga devi and our father is actually shankar so from the boom of uh, maya devi so that's why we are speaking mahaishwari and that actual akar shakti is maya ma mahamaya that maya this mother that akar shakti you can don't understand that i have just uh, taken of uh, the boom akar shakti means that this uh, material people they are speaking in this chandi also that adya shakti means that uh, this uh, aprakriti jagat transcendental world that antaranga shakti if 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 some external existence is there then definitely it's uh, definitely its existence is also there but only difference is that that aprakriti shakti is actually transcendental in nature and this uh, at the time of taking material creation only it's getting successful and uh, apart from that it is already in a hidden or a uh, hibernated stage but still it is also nitya shakti you understand the point what i'm speaking if kal karmo kal karmo if kal karma jeev maya ishwar jeev maya ishwar every every tatv is actually eternally existent existed otherwise how you can speak this anadi karma phale pori bhavar nav jale tori bare na dekhi upa anadi अनादि मीन्स इट इज एंडलेस इट इज ऑल द सेम वट आई एम स्पीकिंग दिंग इज ऑल द सेम दिस आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड एंड दिस द कीर्तन वी हैव डन फ्रंट This is only one the same thing. And the other thing, what I have told. Krishna bolli sahi jeev anadi bohirmu, pote Krishna tare, Maya tare, de shankshara dido. This is all the same. And this slok, what I have told you, in that slok, you just be careful, be attentive. that maheshwari that maya ishwari durga devi that is why actually speaking maheshwari praja so in this material world that all maheshwari praja that the ying ling yoni swarup it is just getting formed this kind of formation that kind of darshanik vichar what i have told you that is actually ying ling yoni it is just like that and in this material world actually getting formed this is also one the same it just by hearing it bhakti no thakur speaking it you don't think it wrongly this terminology we are actually just using in order apart from that we cannot understand this terminology in your darshan actually some fault is there so you will be just thinking it in negative way otherwise you will be finding it in a positive way so the bhagwan that chatuspad vibhuti that actual uh, glorification the actual manifestation of that chatuspad vibhuti of bhagu vibhuti of bhagwan that is the actual ashwari opulence of bhagwan like in on this material earth there is three pad vibhuti three pad there is water and one is out of the four uh, parts three parts is of water and only one part is ether that is the actual status of our uh, Uh, actual status of our uh, material world the three part is water and one part is ether in that all kind of everything creation 
everything is going on that so like this it is and bhagwan also has four in that four four parts vibhuti one one part vibhuti is actually material creation now you understand what is actually this bhagavata this is actually infinite uh, this uh, chatuspad this four part vibhuti of bhagwan that that fa- one part vibhuti is material creation this actually actually is everything of bhagwan sarveshcharya purna means that bhagwan and chatuspad vibhuti it is actually is there tra- opulent is ashwarya and in all these four parts in all the four parts that what bhakti mata thakur has written in kirtan no very nice kirtan you see so nice kirtan actually it is nobody actually just uh, singing it just like foolish just going here and there and wasting their time so this tripad vibhuti that vaikunth kolok is just ashwarya and in this material world only one pad vibhuti is there that is also infinity uh, material brahmand that infinite material uh, creation it is also don't from where actually it is started and where it will end no no nobody knows that it is infinite nobody knows about the actual creation of this material world also 1970 in 1970 or 1980 pfizer one actually is being just uh, uh, pfizer one america. america has just launched that and still actually it is going on where it is going don't know and now actually more advanced technology is come gel telescope by that we can just have the find the velocity of light the actual uh, on the velocity of light we can go 50 to 100 to 200 year 5 5000 years back we can go by that so very actually topmost technology we can find nowadays very so much surprising and amazing this maya devi of bhagwan in this material world only what we are finding dev manav demons asuras all actually species we can find in this material world that by that maha ashwarya that maha maya that actual place is this and this all these material things and each and every uh, vastu is actually from whether you can see from demigods to brahma it is actually not at all out of that from this maha maya it is there inside this uh, range of maya devi only that uh, those linga yoni by that linga yoni it is getting uh, associated and getting manifested by that linga yoni only that by the actual scientific explanation that whatever actual proofs we are actually getting so long as we are information of science and technology jodo jodiyo vigyan ke dwara by that material scientific explanations what we can find up till now whatever kind of discussions or explanations we can find up till now the actual it is actually all that lungi ling yunyat the actual formation of uh, the ling with the prakriti out of that it nothing is there that trees seeds and that infinity uh, that purush prakriti by the actual association it is actually uh, uh, getting created by association only out of that nothing is there the actual point is that that may be this uh, ling yon adi shabd this word is just a slang it looks very slang and dirty language but still this terminology we have to use according to science this is the terminology technical term without which we are unable to understand the actual meaning of the creation or the srishti tatva 
जस्ट द एक्चुअल मटेरियल स्वभाव दैट इज कॉल्ड विज्ञान साइंटिफिक एक्सप्लेनेशन मटेरियल साइंटिफिक एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड दैट विज्ञान एंड परम विज्ञान इट इज जस्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द एक्चुअल मटेरियल कंसेप्शन ऑफ दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड दैट इज द एक्चुअल बिहेवियर यू कैनोट वैंक्विश दैट प्रोसेस यू डोंट यू कैनोट कट दैट एंड जस्ट कैन नॉट डिस्ट्रॉय दैट it is very much important so that you can understand that absolute truth in an absolute way it is very much important so that's why this material world that actually kaam beej of this material world kaam beej this in order to understand that completely that inevitable inevitable inevitably we just need to use the actual material terminology yoni ling etc we have to use that very much important and apart from that we cannot go out of that why because you can understand okay if you can't understand what to do because that transcendental world no one has that experience of the transcendental world those who are philosophers like sukhdev vyas dev there is no one like that who are not at all giving this material explanation to us otherwise we cannot make any head and tail of that transcendental that's why it is must to understand so up till this point i will be just uh, discussing uh, giving for, uh, rest up till this point and in the next week and uh, next week next week i will be discussing about the more in depth analysis i'll be discussing if the Bhag- actual kripa of bhagwan is well i'll be going forward i'll be just giving uh, rest up till this point just forgive me mat janmana phalam idam madukait bhare mat partha niyam adano graha esha eva तद्भित्तभित्तो पति तानं पावने भो वैष्णव्यो नमून